Yeah. Um, Did you tell your name? Yeah, my name is Ina, and my Chinese name is Lin Kefan. And what I learned from this course, I think, um, before taking this course, um, when I every time I had dream, I only take it as maybe it is kind of prophecy. It only um, talks about something maybe going to happen. But after taking this course, I think it is not because the dream tells us just like what I said, a deeper mind. Um, maybe what you feared, what you really want, or you something that you don't want to face, and the dream tells you. Yes. Also, something I wanted to say. Um, Ian talked about dreams uh, solving our problems, and what what I was driving at. We got carried away. Is it? Is it there's another thing dreams can do too. Instead of solving problems, people used to think, oh, dreams are all about problems, answers to my problems. It also can be opportunities. It can present you with an opportunity to show you that you're really good at something or it's something you're trying to do and you can't do it. It can do it. Like the man um, who invented the uh, electric sewing machine, he tried in every way he could if all, all, the, all of the cotton industry had been automated except for sewing, and still women would sit there and sew by hands in, in the factories. And he thought, if I could just make a machine that could sew, it would earn a lot of money for the factories, for the women, for myself. But he couldn't figure out how to do it. It's impossible. A needle, through, how do you do that? And he had a dream that. Um, that these uh, savages in Africa, um, boom, um, boom, he was through these, they caught him, you know? They, they had spears, they stuck this, ooh, ooh, ooh. And so they, 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 he had to go with them to their village, and there was a big pot on, on the fire. They, built, they did a fire, they were all so happy. They put him in the pot, and there he's sitting there, and he realized, these are cannibals, these people want to eat me. And, and he, he, he wants to climb out of the pot, but they have these spears. They keep sticking their spears toward him to get him back in the hot water. And uh, it's a nightmare. He wakes up. It's a nightmare. When you have a nightmare like that, you wake up, ah, cannibals. After he woke, what struck him as strange about the dream is that he remembered all the spears had a hole in the point, in the, the, the spearhead, the point. It had a hole near the point. And all of a sudden, in his mind. That's the answer. Since the beginning of time, when the cave people would, would they'd kill elephants and make needles out of the bones to sew the hides together, and the, the hole is always at the end of the needle. For an electric sewing machine, if you want it to work, you've got to put the hole at the front of the needle. And then it goes down, and another thing comes in and takes, captures the thread, then it comes up and down. That's how it works. And, um, so the dream gave him an opportunity. Not, not, solve, not It's not a problem, it's an opportunity. I guess often solving a problem can be an opportunity. But um, anything else? Um, I think also um, in this course we need to be more creative because Every time we need to find in the metaphor, in the dream, we need to connect everything. Because in the dream, something that is superficial, we need to go deeper and deeper. So we need to, go, uh, need to be a creative person. Exactly. We come in here and someone tells a dream. And none of us, myself included, I mean, there's no dream expert in this class. We're all ordinary people. None of us know what this dream means. So the, the Altman experiential dream group process we use is a creative process. It follows the steps of creativity. And so we actually are exercising our creativity every single time we come in and work with a dream. And um, it, it turns out that in the old days, um, you had a few people who would invent machines, and then you had all these people coming into work, trudging into work, working for almost nothing, working all day in the factories. You know what I mean? Just doing what people had done, what their grandfathers did, and the grandfathers before them. Today, it's not like that. Things are changing very fast. If you want to survive, you have to be creative. 
You have to discover something new, invent something new. You have to invent your own business or a different way of doing the thing you're doing. And um, dreams make us more creative. They're the creative part of us. So very good. Okay, anything, anything else? Now, I, I, I did, I'm not going to give you a question because I think you answered quite. Do you want another question or, or are you happy with? Pass. Whatever you pass. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you.